Welcome back to my channel everyone. Today I have a day in the life morning routine. I have three kids, seven, five, and ten months. So as you can imagine, our mornings are a little crazy. I like to set out the kids' lunch boxes and their snacks the night before. That way in the morning while I'm rushing around getting them breakfast and getting them dressed and getting their backpacks ready, that is one thing I don't have to worry about. My husband and I have a really great routine and we switch off and one of us will make their lunches the night before and have it all set to go for the next day. While the kids are eating breakfast, I like to start off my morning by drinking a glass of water. This may be one, it may be two, it depends on the day. This water bottle is awesome because the top screws onto any mason jar, so you can just screw it on and you're good to go. So as I start drinking my water, I'll chat with the kids about any plans they have for that day and I'll pack their lunch. And because we prepare everything the night before, I just have to grab their lunch boxes out of the fridge, pack their snacks, and throw in some ice packs, and they are done and good to go for the day. If you guys have been around for a while, you have probably seen some of my what I pack for my kids for lunch videos. You know I love these yum boxes. We have used these for a couple years now, and we use these pretty much every day of the week. So that's my kids' lunches for this day, and... I love that I don't have to worry about packing their lunches in the morning. So as my two oldest kids finish up their breakfast, I pull their backpacks and coats off their hooks and just lay them out for them. It just makes getting out the door that much easier. And we also like to make sure their backpacks are all set the night before, so all I have to do is throw in their lunch bag, their water bottle, zip it up, and they are good to go. And in case you are wondering where my little babe is, um, Chase, my 10 month old, is upstairs with his dad. Um, Martin was home today and doing a little bit of work from home and then took the rest of the day off. So I got their coats, I have their backpacks, and here's a fun tip for you guys. Um, if your kids have to bring snow gear, throw them in a reusable bag and it keeps it all in one spot. After breakfast, it is time for the kids to brush their teeth, do their hair, and to be honest, this is one of my favorite parts of being a girl mom. I love doing Fate's hair, and she loves me doing her hair. So let me know in the comments below if you guys see that little tool on the counter, it's called a topsy-turvy, and I remember using this as a kid, and Fate loves it. On, I put my feet up. Just sing along and I can't help but feeling just loving this moment. Can we stay here for that's my favorite part, Mom? This moment, can we stay here together? Then it's time to bundle up, get their backpacks, and head out the door for the bus. Then, after the kids got on the bus, it was time for this little guy to come downstairs and get his breakfast. Actually, this is his second breakfast. He is still nursing, so he nursed earlier this morning. But breakfast is his probably favorite meal of the day. So I just cleaned up some cups from the kids, and they were really good. They took care of their plates and everything else and put them in the sink. Um, and then I just did a quick wipe down because, of course, there was syrup on the table. Um, and Chase just likes to hang out with me in the morning as he wakes up and chats away. He's so funny and cute, and he just sits there and watches. Every night, my goal is to make sure that there are no dirty dishes, but I will leave my dishes to dry overnight. I'm okay with that. 
so I like to make sure those get put away in the morning and that way I kind of have a clean slate to start my day. Let me know, do you guys make sure you have a clean kitchen at night before you head up to bed for the night? Do you clean up in the morning? I know everyone's routine looks a little bit different. Making sure that my kitchen is clean before I go to bed has made my mornings a lot easier. Don't you know that I would cause I'm just loving this moment Can't always stay here forever 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 I watch you as you drive Do you know I'm looking so after the table's wiped down and the dishes are put away, I put Chase's tray on and that's when he gets excited. So we are working on him using a sippy cup and he thinks it's more of a toy. Um, and you'll see in a minute the new game he loves to play. There you go. I was making him breakfast and decided to give him a few of these puffs. And if you notice, he waited to throw it on the floor. Rude. Oh, I like. Are those good? Do you love them? So I'm really excited to share with you guys that today's video is a collaboration with Revive Superfoods who were kind enough to send me a box of ready to blend smoothies. About a week ago I had this box delivered to my doorstep and it actually sat outside for a little bit and all of these smoothies were in an insulated bag with dry ice and as you can hear they were frozen solid. The convenience of these smoothies are my favorite part and they have all been super delicious so far. And I have a code for you guys, so if you are interested, there is no commitment. You can pause or cancel your subscription at any time. You can use the code GEN60 for 60% off. Mornings are busy and sometimes I don't make time for breakfast. My husband never makes time for breakfast. So this particular morning, we were both having a smoothie. He was a little hesitant, I'll be honest, um, but I was super excited to try the blue cacao. So I chose the matcha maker for my husband and I'll let you see his reaction in a minute. So all you do is fill up the cup with water and then pop it in your blender and that is it. So I don't know about you guys but when I make smoothies I put about three ingredients in them and I call it a day. These have a whole list of really healthy, delicious ingredients that you don't have to go out or prep. It's already frozen in a cup for you. It does not get much easier than that. The other cool part is that they sent me these metal straws, so that comes with your box as well. They are the perfect size and width to drink a smoothie with. So this one in particular, just for example, had apple, banana, kale, pineapple, zucchini, parsley, hemp protein, matcha. My husband is not a huge smoothie person, so when he tried this he was a little bit hesitant. But as you can see, he actually really enjoyed it and this was a really delicious smoothie. 
and then on to mine. So I decided to do the blue cacao. You guys know my love for blueberries and who doesn't like chocolate? So this one has kale, banana, avocado, cashews, Himalayan salt, vanilla, it's sweetened with dates. And that's another thing I really loved about these smoothies. So not only are they convenient, but there's no extra added sugar, but they still taste really good. All the fruits and veggies are flash frozen, so they're separate in the container and it makes blending really easy. All you have to do is add the liquid of your choice. I chose to use water because that's what I usually add, but you can add almond milk, regular milk, whatever you choose, and then you just blend it up. Another cool part about these smoothies is the cup comes with a lid with a straw hole. So once you blend your smoothie, you can actually pour it right back in the cup, pop the lid on, and out the door you go. So within a few minutes, I had breakfast made for me and my husband. I was able to sit with Chase while he finished his breakfast, enjoy the beautiful view out our back deck, and I can't decide between the blueberry cacao and the strawberry zen as to which one is my favorite so far. But we have liked every single smoothie that we have tried. They are much more creative than the ones I usually make. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing these smoothies from Revive Foods. They were kind enough to send me a whole box of them, and we have been enjoying them a lot. So, um, this made my morning a whole lot easier getting stuff done. I could bring it around in my mason jar. We are going to finish cleaning up, and then we were headed out to run some errands for the day. If you guys enjoyed this vlog, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed to my YouTube fam, and we will see you in the next one.